Hey, good evening, traders. <clears throat> this is my evening video. I got me a new computer, so I'm going to try this out real quick here. My other one just got too many hours on it and it's starting to act up real bad. <clears throat> so, uh, basically, I'm slightly bullish or bearish the markets, you know. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we closed on SPY below our quarter pivot. <clears throat> we felt it for a couple of days here. Uh, looks like we're going to go lower here you know so keep that in mind here my target for the week is down here at uh right around the 420 418 417 to 420 area for the close to close our week out possibly here so that's my primary thesis for this week on that with ultimately uh, the main support being down way down here the quarter pivot down here uh finally uh finishing us out around the 390 area or something like that for the spy Okay. Cues. Uh, so we are into a quarter pivot area. We have Apple that reported overnight. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, I, I had all this stuff erased, unfortunately. Uh, I reinstalled Thinkorswim and uh, it didn't auto save. We need to reinstall it. So. So basically, uh, I'm just really uh, focusing in here on the 420 area to be our next support areas here. Uh, if we break any lower, you know, it's uh, it's confirming a head and uh, this to be our new head and a head for head and shoulders, and this be the left shoulder, and this this entire area be the head. That makes the most sense to me that this entire area is our head, and this would be our shoulder area on uh, the cues here. Okay. IWM, find that one. Okay, number two here. IWM is in free fall. Okay, I want to point that out. Uh, we've broken our supports. We have a falling knife situation going in the overnight. I'm thinking we're going to close the week out. Uh, 182 is our target to close our week out here on IWM. Uh, we'll see what happens when we come in. You know, we start pushing near the lows. In the overnight session, we could actually get a gap and go uh, to the downside on IWM for tomorrow's session. Okay, Apple. Uh, it's not showing the after hours action, but here's where we closed, and then I'll change into one hour time frames here. So basically, we're gapping up in the after hours into this quarter pivot. So that's around the 160, 166 area. Uh, it's 167.23, so we're actually marking just slightly above our quarter pivot to get the illusion of a bullish, uh, uh, you know, it was, good, it was good earnings. I will not deny that. Maybe we're going to go back to all-time highs. I mean, there's always that scenario out there. Um, so basically, uh, we do have a 50-day moving average right here uh, that we are running into here on Apple. So think about, you know, the 168.50 area that might act as resistance. Okay, so that would be uh, the bearish case if that becomes new resistance here for Apple, 168.48 on Apple on the 50-day moving average. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys on the one-hour chart. And as you can see, we had a nice little bounce up there. We're coming right into that 50-day 50 50-day 50 moving average right here. Guys, see, see, we tagged it. 50-day moving average in the free market so and we have a trend line right here so anything can happen we can rock the ship to the upside and but uh do want to float that idea it looks a little you know it, it could go either way but uh, i'm still leaning more to the bearish side that they're going to sell the news tomorrow let me go and uh go back on the daily here amd is just looking ugly uh we might have actually found our support area we do have a quarter pivot here uh, to complete the pattern, of course. Down here, you see how these quarter pivots are bunching up? This here is more of a supporting area, okay, down here. So that, that move right there, this, this is where buyers and sellers came in to support uh, AMD. So that'd be around the, possibly $84 on AMD as the main support. Boeing? Oh, yeah, I didn't even talk about the other work chart, did I? Okay, over here, we did break a 50-day... 50 week moving average we, we crossed below that on the close so we'll keep an eye on that uh so basically 
95 area, it gets you your uh, monthly 21, okay? And so uh, the uh, 95 area would be right here. So that would be your next moving average uh, as resistance. It kind of lines up with this prior breakout. Don't really think that's going to be a major support area. This right here is where I think your major support comes in on that one. Boeing. We, I actually tried to take this to the long side as a uh, falling knife, you know, and I got distracted. And next thing I know, I wiped out my profits for the day trying to trade this stupid thing. So, it, um, yeah, it's really starting to look ugly here on Boeing. Uh, if we start breaking down here, uh, so the 150 area is in play here. And if you come over here on your, uh, that's the monthly 200-day moving average. The 150 here on Boeing, and there's a pri a lot of prior monthly support down here, so a lot of monthly candles have all had lows down here around the two, around the same price point, the 150 area. So that's your critical support for Boeing to the downside. Uh, Facebook, okay. So we did break the monthly 20, 21, okay. Uh, if we were to continue lower. Uh, you're looking at the 230 area, so we'll go over here, zoom this one in here, and uh, on the moving average front, it'd be the 230 area. We do have um, a lot of uh, quarterly support down here, so we start getting around the 250 area. This is a very supportive area around the 260, uh, 250 area. You know, or you know, there's there's a lot of support down here. But we are in a free fall. Uh, we did break this prior low. Or, well, we closed below this prior low. So that's that's a red flag going into tomorrow on Facebook. Okay. Uh, no. Microsoft. Okay. Okay. So uh, we have a quarterly pivot that we bounced off of on earnings. Okay. This really looks like a possible head and shoulders. Okay. So I'll just keep this one in mind here. So we came into our trend line and initially we are rejecting out here. So uh, we'll see what happens going forward here. But you know, this does possibly uh, sell the news event here on Microsoft. So I do want to float that idea. And uh, I do want to point out Apple is trying to break out above its all time high quarterly pivot. Okay, that's what we've got going on tonight. Microsoft couldn't even get back to its quarter, quarterly pivot, so I do want to point that out. There's they're diff, they're beasts of different colors. Uh, Microsoft showing some relative weakness even after earnings, versus what we're currently seeing in Apple. Okay, Apple in theory is setting up to be running running back to new all time highs, uh, but we won't know uh, until tomorrow to see what the price action does. They might come right in there and just dump Apple, Apple right in our face. Okay. Uh, NVIDIA. Okay. Uh, so, prior all-time high. Uh, oh, I didn't even update my okay, pivots. There we go. There's your pivots. Somehow I skipped that one. I'm sorry. Uh, wait a minute here, guys. Got to move this up here. There we go. Apologize for not having that ready. So, uh, we came into the daily 200-day moving average. Uh, this is, uh, so we got three days doing this. So, uh, and we still haven't had a solid tag of that quarterly pivot. So I am thinking we're probably going to lose the 200 and try to find the 50 at, 50, weekly 50 as support on NVIDIA. So keep that one on watch. Tesla, of course, got decimated today. I wish I would have been around to take those shorts on Tesla today. Uh, it's in free fall. Should be a really quick move down to 800. Uh, as you can see, we have 200-day moving average and 50-day moving average, both right down here around the $800 level. Uh, obviously, that's what it looks like it's going to, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. So that's the main, that's my core stocks that I'm watching right now. And... Uh, I got some indices. Uh, I did want to point out also your uh, XLF. Uh, we do have on the daily time frame. 
a uh, this is a bear flag came up into their quarterly pivot rejected hard with a bearish engulfing candle so that is a a red flag in my book okay and then we have XLE also uh, we are above major uh, quarterly pivot resistance and we're looking above here um, and like I said if IWN is coming in this might be a sucker's bet to go long XLE for them to crash it right back down into some major uh, 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 consolidation okay right now it looks like we're trying to break out and go to the upside to new new highs okay and if you go if, if this is a confirmed breakout we're gonna go up to 75 so it's still just you know it's still a little iffy there if it's going to continue the big move higher on XLE so keep that one on watch just because we're coming out of major resistance doesn't mean it can continue okay I do want to keep that one out there also okay oh uh, industrials look at it real quick and industrials I really haven't updated those charts I don't think uh, yeah industrials you know, see we were right down here for a double bottom on our industrials so keep that one on watch this also okay Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, if you like the video, like it. Please retweet me on Twitter if you can, Gumby9662C, and like me on Twitter. Appreciate all the feedback I can get. Um, so um, thanks a lot, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow probably.